Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Fallout 3. I'm still in the Nash residence, heading now, I think, towards where I should be going, which is the Mojave Express. Find out what I can find out exactly about, uh... Ooh, look, the casino. About why I was shot in the head. Look at the casino down there, that's open. Vicky Fences Casino is shut down. Oh, there's a door there, though. We'll explore those in a second. Yep. Two casinos to explore, but for now... It's pointing me down here, actually. It's actually pointing me to the Vents Casino. Oh, well. If that's where it's pointing me, that's where I shall go! Bison Steve. Whoa. I don't know what it was brought you to Prim, youngster, but you might want to rethink your plans. Town's gone to hell. Who are you? Johnson Nash is my name. Husband to Ruby Nash. Lived in Prim going on eight years now, thick and thin. I'm a trader primarily, for what it's worth with things like they are. I also run the local Mojave Express outpost. Ah. Uh -huh. Okay, well, I'm a courier with the Mojave Express. Well, I don't got any work right now, sorry to say. I lost a package I was supposed to deliver. I'll tell you whatever I can. You have a delivery order you can show me? Here you go. Take a look at this. Oh, you're talking about one of them packages. That job had strange written all over it, but we couldn't turn down the caps. What was strange about it? That cowboy robot had us hire six couriers. Each was carrying something a little different. A pair of dice, chess piece, that kind of stuff. Last word I have from the office, it looked like payment had been received for the other five jobs. Guess it was just your chip that didn't make it. First deadbeat we hired to do the job, cancelled. Hope a storm from the divide skins him alive. Well, that's where you came in. Wait a minute. What do you mean he cancelled? Yeah, I got this look when he saw you next down on the courier list. His expression turned right around. Asked me if your name was for real. I said, sure as lack of rain, you were still kicking. Then he turned down the job, just like that. I asked if he was sure it was good money. No, let Courier 6 carry the package. That's what he said. Like the Mojave'd sort you out or something. Then he just up and walked out. Hmm. Who was this man? Do you know who he was, where he went? No idea. Sounds like you two had a history for him to act like that. And turn down the money, too. Hope he didn't see any trouble in that package of yours. Maybe he thought your name was bad luck. Enough for me to say. Well, we got the package. Some men stole it. A man in a checkered suit and some thugs. Did they pass this way? Well, now that you mention it, a few nights back, one of the townies was out scavenging for supplies. He said he saw a fellow with a daisy suit come through with some of them great con misfits. They was talking about a chip. Yes. That bitch shot me. So, I need to know the best way to get to them. Well, for that, your best bet is going to be talking to Deputy Beagle. Since they came to town, he was keeping a good bit of notes on them. And he was slinking around Bison Steve when your pretty boy friend came through. He may have heard where they were going. Okay. I guess I don't have anywhere better to be. So where can I get the information? A Beagle had some notes he was taking while he was eavesdropping around the Potter gangsters. He'll be your best source of information on that subject. Okay.
Do, 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 do. What do you mean, anyway? You said powder gangsters. I thought they were powder gangers. Gangers, gangsters, all sounds like trouble to me. Oh, you're just a stupid man, then, eh? Alright, anything else about the delivery that you can tell me? Sure, I'll tell you what I know. Mm, no, obviously not. Don't go getting yourself shot. Oh, no, oh, sorry! Why are you all pointing guns at me, for God's sake? I ain't done nothing. Hey, youngster. Still hanging about Prim, huh? Yes, I'm still hanging about Prim. In fact, what can I do to help this place? Looks a bit like you're in need of help with all those gangsters running around, would you like to call them? Right now, Beagle is the closest Prim's got to any organized law. But he's still stuck up in Bison Steve. First thing I'd say is get his sorry butt out of there. Right, so the guy in there is the Beagle chap, and he can tell me about the cap that shot me in the head. Okay, that makes sense. Finally, what about that robot inside your house? That beat up old thing? What do you want to know? What's wrong with it? Hell if I know. I don't think it's serious, but my tinkering days are long gone. Where did it come from? A courier dropped it off a couple of months back. I got it working for a little while, but the darn thing pooped out. I haven't been able to get it up and running again. I was hoping to use it for some courier work, but <laughs> that ain't gonna happen. Mind if I try to fix it? Are you welcome to try? It's yours if you can get it working. Okay. If I had my way, I'd dump it in the scrapyard in Novak and be done with the damn thing. Okay, but don't go getting yourself shot. One more thing. Hey, youngster. What else I gotta say? Wanna play a hand of caravan? I don't even know how to play a caravan. I don't know what the hell this caravan thing is. Do you have anything for sale? Sure, have a look. See if I can offload some of my crap onto you. Okay, let's start with weapons. I don't want to get rid of any of these. But the dynamite. Sell all these dynamites. I'm not interested in them. Right, that's fine. Uh, apparel? Nope, I need all that. Aid, right, let's have a look what we can offload any of these. No, nope, these are all food and water. I need to eat. Ooh, they like drugs. White horse now. Eh, uh, okay, what about these? A couple of cigarette cartons I can do. Uh, cherry bombs. Coyote hides. Blue moon. <laughs> I like this track. Pack of cigarettes, pre war money. Uh, I'll sell you a couple of wonder glues. There you go. Offloaded some of my stuff. Excellent. What have you got to sell me? Ooh, you got some magnums, the gauntlets, caravan shotgun. I've got one of them. Sure, I have. Yes. Dynamite longfield, dynamite single shotgun. I got some of them as well. Aid. Ah. That's free. You're selling me stuff for free. That's absolutely marvelous, pal. Right, I think that's everything. I'll see you later. Another satisfied customer. Indeed, I'm satisfied. Well, I'll answer what I can. Sorry, I talk a lot, I know. Uh, what happened here? Let's see. Been tough around here for a good while now. Worse since them thugs kidnapped our deputy. He started with the breakout from the prison up the road. First there was just a few thugs rolling through town. 
But then they got organized. Now they call themselves powder gangsters or something and run around throwing dynamite and shooting people. A little while ago, a good chunk of them left whatever kind of organization they got up there to squeeze all the food and drink out of us they could. Ask away. What's at Vicky and Vance? That's where we are. This here little casino brought some cash and bodies into the town before them powder gangsters came in. Now, they can't rush us without eating a good bit of hot lead, but we are in a kind of box canyon. Guess this is a fitting place for that as any. I reckon that if they thought hard enough about it, they'd realize they got more bodies than we have bullets. But for now, we're safe enough in here. Okay. And what exactly is Bison Steve? It's an old hotel and casino here in town. Old Laura used to rent out rooms there, but she took off months ago. Across the way from the Vicky and Vance, the other old casino. Can't miss it. Okay, thanks for all your help. Don't go getting yourself shot. I don't plan to. Hey there. Before the powder gangers came to town, Johnson Nash ran a local store in the Mahazi Express station. Hey, cowboy. Prim Slim. Well, isn't that just a name? Oh, I can't do that. It's stealing. Howdy, partner. Welcome to the Vicky and Vance Casino and Museum. Who are you? Prim Slim at your service. Authentic cowpoke and official spokespot of the Vicky and Vance Casino and Museum. Yeehaw! Yeehaw indeed. And who exactly were Vicky and Vance? Where have you been, partner? Hiding under a rock? Vicky and Vance were this nation's fourth or maybe fifth most infamous celebrity outlaw couple ever. That's who they was. Prim Slim here can tell you the whole story, if you can spare a minute to hear the tale. Oh, go on then. Yahoo! I ain't had a chance to tell their tale in a mess of years. First things first, any boss you've heard about Vicky and Vance being copycats ain't nothing but ill-tempered slander. Fact is, they begun their crime spree two days before Bonnie and Clyde robbed their first bank. So who was copying who? Now true, Vicky and Vance didn't exactly cut a wide swath of murder and bank robbery across the central U.S. like Bonnie and Clyde did. It was more like a narrow swath of shoplifting, check cashing fraud, and gas pump drive-offs. But crime is crime. It drove reckless, too. Having lived by the gun, well, Vance owned one anyway, it was only fitting that the duo of desperados would die by the gun. Perhaps it was fate itself that accidentally drove them into a crosswire between police and a gang of bank robbers in Plano, Texas. Oh dear, how unfortunate. Or maybe they just didn't notice until it was too late. It's been said that Vicky would have tried to cash a bad check in that bank had she lived. We'll never know for sure. All we know is that the crossfire tore the car and both occupants to pieces, and the police issued an official apology. You can put your eyes on the genuine death car just over yonder, and there's Vance's machine gun in the case next to it. <coughs> well, that is unfortunate, isn't it? Well, I know what I need to know. Do you know anything else about Prim? Prim is a thriving resort community located in Clark County, Nevada, right along Interstate 15. Whether you can't wait till Vegas to try your luck, or want to hit one last jackpot before you leave Nevada, Prim's your place. The town's premier attraction is the world-famous Vicky and Vance Casino and Museum, so you came to the right place, partner. Uh, okay, and can you tell me about the hotel across the street? <clears throat> the Bison Steve is one of Prim's less impressive casino hotels. I'd steer clear of that place, partner, if I were you. Rumor is the dealers over there cheap, and that rickety roller coaster is liable to fall down any day because it wasn't built to cold. Oh dear. Okay, well, I'll see you later, pal. Thanks for the information. Happy trails, partner. Happy trails. Right, join me in the next part when we shall, uh, well, head over to the Bison Casino to rescue that deputy. See you soon.